It's likely you've heard the phrase rolling resistance when you've come across a description of a tire. But what does it really mean? We're going to find out next. Remember riding a bike with underinflated tires? It was hard to move it forward. When you inflate the tires back to the original pressure, it's easier to pedal. Well, this is rolling resistance. In scientific terms, rolling resistance is the mechanical energy of a rolling tire, which is transformed into heat per distance. Basically, it's the effort required to keep your tire rolling. Each tire component, like the tire tread pattern, bead area, sidewall, and belt package, contribute to overall rolling resistance. Other external factors, like inflation pressure, air temperature, tire load, and vehicle speed, also contribute to a tire's rolling resistance. For example, as inflation pressure increases, so does the tire's stiffness, and stiffer tires create less energy loss, leading to lower rolling resistance. That's why it's always recommended to run the vehicle at the suggested inflation pressure instructed by vehicle manufacturers. In the last 30-some years, automakers and tire manufacturers have emphasized low rolling resistance as a key factor in fuel efficiency. A long-established rule of thumb holds that a 10% decrease in rolling resistance yields a 1-2% improvement in fuel economy. For automakers, that 1-2% improvement is also valuable. Even a slight bump can bring up a vehicle's corporate average fuel economy or CAFE rating. I'm Maddie Weiner, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.